The American mid-sized market was fairly well developed by the late 1960s, and the GM cars were stretched for 1966 and 67, with the Chevrolet Chevelle the budget entrant, being as cheap as $2,200 to $3,000 for 1967. It was 198 inches long on a 115-inch wheelbase, weighing 3,300 to 3,500 pounds. Sixes came in 3.8 liter 230 or 4.1 liter 250 with 140 to 150 horsepower. The V8s in 4.6 liter 283, 5.4 liter 327, and 6.5 liter 396 with 195 to 350 horsepower. A basic 327 four barrel with the three speed manual had 275 horsepower and 355 pound feet of torque for speeds over 125 miles an hour and a low 15 second quarter mile. AMC introduced a new Rebel for 1967, although it was still badged as a Rambler for that year. It was on a 114 inch wheelbase, 197 inches long, and weighed 3,000 to 3,500 pounds, priced from 2,300 to 2,900 pounds. Engine choices to start included 145 to 155 horsepower 3.8 liter 232.6 and either a 4.7 liter 290 or 5.6 liter 343 with 200 to 280 horsepower. Backed by a 4 speed, the top 343 could exceed 125 miles an hour and do a mid 15 second quarter mile. Dodge officially entered the mid size segment in 1965 with the Coronet with updated styling for 1966 at which point prices were in the $2,300 to $3,000 range. They were 203 inches long on 117 inch wheelbase and weighed 3,000 to 3,700 pounds. Engines ranged from 145 horsepower 3.7 liter 225 slant 6 to the 425 horsepower 7 liter 426 Hemi with the 273, 318, 361 and 383 also being offered. A 5.9 liter 361 two barrel four speed Coronet 440 had 265 horsepower and 380 pound feet of torque for a top speed just over 115 and a mid 15 second quarter mile. Pontiac's Tempest and Le Mans were overshadowed by the similar but more powerful GTO. The cars were 206 inches long on a 115 inch wheelbase and weighed 3,000 to 3,500 pounds. In 1966, a Tempest started around $2,300 with a base 3.8 liter 230 overhead cam straight six with 165 to 215 horsepower, while a Le Mans could exceed $3,100 with the optional 5.3 liter 326 that had 250 to 285 horsepower. Moving a high output sport coupe to over 125 miles an hour and a low 16 second quarter mile. No match for the 6.4 liter 389 in the GTO with its 335 to 360 horsepower. Ford's Fairlane was revised for 1966, being 197 inches long on a 116 inch wheelbase and weighing 2,700 to 3,500 pounds, except the wagon. Engines included a 120 horsepower 3.3 liter 200 cubic inch straight six, a 200 horsepower 4.7 liter 289, a 265 to 335 horsepower 390 and a 425 horsepower 7 liter 427. Prices were $2,300 to $3,200 and a 500 XL with the 200 horsepower 283 pound foot of torque 289 did more than 110 miles an hour and a quarter mile in the high 16s. The Montego became Mercury's mid-size offering in 1968 priced from $2,500 to $3,000. Similar to the Fairlane, but by this point, the 289 was replaced by a 302, and mid-year, the 427 by a 428. And length had grown to 206 inches, and weight was up to 3,000 to 3,500 pounds. A 390 Marauder with 265 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque topped 120 and could do the quarter mile in just over 16 seconds. Oldsmobile's F85 and Cutlass of 1967 were priced from $2,500 to $3,500. They were 204 inches long on a 115 inch wheelbase and ranged from 3,000 to 4,000 pounds with a base 4.1 liter 250 cubic inch Chevy straight six with 155 horsepower. While Oldsmobile's own 5.4 liter 330 Jetfire Rocket V8 came in 250 to 320 horsepower tunes. With a four speed and 290 horsepower and 355 pound foot of torque tune, it could do the quarter mile in just over 15 seconds and reach 125 miles an hour. 
while the 442 was up to a 6.6 liter 400 V8 with 350 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. But the GM cars would be restyled for 1968, including Buick Special and Skylark. Prices were similar at $2,500 to $3,500, as was the base 155 horsepower Chevy 250 straight six. While the Buick V8 could be had in either 5.7 liter 350 or 6.6 .6 liter 400, with 230 to 340 horsepower. A GS350 automatic had 280 horsepower and 275 pound-feet of torque for a mid 16 second quarter mile and a top speed near 120. The Plymouth Belvedere transitioned to the mid-size market in 1965 with mildly updated styling, with another restyle for 1966 updating the look, so that by the 1968 restyle, any confusion about what it was supposed to be was long gone. Prices ranged from $2,500 to $3,600 and included the upmarket satellite, being 203 inches long on a 116-inch wheelbase and 2,800 to 3,600 pounds. The 3.7-liter 225 Slant 6 had 145 horsepower, while V8s were the 4.5-liter 273, 5.2-liter 318, and 6.3-liter 383, with 190 to 330 horsepower except for the sportier GTX and the new Roadrunner, which could have either a 375 horsepower 7.2 liter 440 or a 425 horsepower 7 liter 426 Hemi. A 318 car had 230 horsepower and 340 pound-feet of torque for speeds over 120 and a 16 second quarter mile. From Britain, the Austin America was just one version of the 1300 sold through various BMC divisions at 147 inches long on a 94 inch wheelbase and weighing 1800 pounds. Horsepower was up to 58 with the car doing the quarter mile in 20 seconds and nearly reaching 90. Wolseley made the 1660 until 1971. It had a 99 inch wheelbase, was 178 inches long and its 1.6 liter made 61 horsepower, moving the car to 60 in less than 21 and a half seconds and it could exceed 80. The Vauxhall Victor FD of 1967 had a 100 inch wheelbase, was 175 inches long, was 2200 to 2300 pounds, and cost more than 800 pounds. Its 1.6 liter inline four had 66 horsepower, got 23 miles per gallon, and took 20 and a half seconds to get to 60. The Roots Arrow was sold under many names, including the Hillman Hunter, Singer Gazelle, Humber Scepter, Sunbeam Rapier, Chrysler Vogue, and Dodge Husky, to name a few. On a 99-inch wheelbase, they were roughly 170 inches long and 2,100 pounds, available with a 1,500 or 1,700, with 64 or 74 horsepower. Top speed was about 90, and the quarter mile took a little more than 19 seconds. The Mark I Triumph 2000 and 2.5 Pi ran until 1969, 174 inches long on a 106-inch wheelbase, Weight was under 2,700 pounds, and horsepower ranged from 85 to 118. Claim top speed was near 110, with a 0 to 60 just over 9 seconds. Ford's Mark II Cortina, introduced in 1966, would fit above the smaller Escort, although it was still the smallest Ford sold in the U.S. 168 inches long on a 98-inch wheelbase, and 1,900 to 2,000 pounds. It was available in 1200, 1300, 1500, 1600, and a Savage 3 liter V6, with horsepower ranging from 50 to 136. A 1600 GT had 91 horsepower and 102 pound feet of torque for a sub 19 second quarter mile, and a top speed over 95. The Daimler 250 was the same car as the earlier 2.5 V8, with only minor updates still 180 inches long on a 107 inch wheelbase and weighing 3,000 pounds. The 155 cubic inch V8 produced 140 horsepower and 155 pound feet of torque for 105 miles an hour and a quarter mile under 18 seconds. While the Mark II Jaguar had been upgraded to the S type and continued through 1968, 187 inches long on a 108 inch wheelbase and weighing 3,600 pounds. The inline six was available in 3.4 and 3.8 liters with 210 to 225 horsepower. A 3.8 saloon was good for a mid 16 second quarter mile and speeds near 125 miles an hour. 
From France, the last Panhard was the 24, offered in 91 and 100 inch wheelbases, and 168 to 177 inches long, and was 1,800 to 1,900 pounds. The 850cc Boxer Twin produced 50 to 59 horsepower for speeds near 95 miles an hour and a mid 20 second quarter mile. The Renault 10 was a rear engine family car at 165 inches long on an 89 inch wheelbase and 1,900 pounds. It used either an 1100 or 1300 cc 4 with 46 to 56 horsepower. It could do 85 miles an hour and the quarter mile in under 21 seconds. In Germany, Glas made the 1700 from 1964 to 1967, although it would continue in some markets as a BMW. It was 174 inches long on a 98 inch wheelbase and 2200 pounds. The inline four produced 79 to 99 horsepower for speeds up to 105 miles an hour and a mid 17 second quarter mile. The Wartburg 353 was introduced in 1966. It was 166 inches long on a 97 inch wheelbase and 2,000 pounds using a one liter two stroke inline three. With 50 horsepower and 72 pound feet of torque, it had a claimed top speed of over 80. Volkswagen introduced the Type 4 in 1968, being noticeably bigger than the Type 3, at 179 inches long on a 98 inch wheelbase and about 2,300 pounds. It was powered by a 1700 flat 4 with 68 to 78 horsepower. The Ford Taunus P6 of 1966 was 173 inches long on a 100 inch wheelbase and 1900 to 2000 pounds. Initially, the V4 came in 1300, 1500, and 1700 cc's with 62 to 84 horsepower. A 1700S could do the quarter mile in the high 18s and exceed 90 miles an hour. The Opel Record C also arrived in 1966, roughly 180 inches long on a 105 inch wheelbase and weighing 2200 to 2500 pounds. The 4 came in 1500, 1700, and 1900 with an available 2200 cc inline 6 with horsepower ranging from 52 to 107. A 2200 coupe could do a high 18 second quarter mile and more than 100 miles an hour. The Mercedes-Benz was now offered in 200, 230, and 200D, which was by far the most popular version. They were 186 inches long on a 106 inch wheelbase and 2800 to 3900 pounds. Output was 105, 118, or 60 horsepower. The six cylinder model did a low 18 second quarter mile and could nearly reach 100. BMW's new class sedan was now available as the 1800. On a 100 inch wheelbase, they were 177 inches long and weighed 2300 to 2500 pounds. Horsepower ranged from 101 to 122 and an 1800 Ti could do 105 miles an hour and a mid 17 second quarter mile. In Italy, Fiat's all new 124 was only 159 inches long on a 95 inch wheelbase and 1900 to 2100 pounds, but initially came with a 64 horsepower 1.2 liter inline four. It took less than 20 seconds to do the quarter mile and could almost do 90. The Alfa Romeo Giulia 1300 Ti used a 99 inch wheelbase and was 163 inches long. Its 2200 to 2500 pounds were moved to 100 miles an hour by its 81 horsepower. The Lancia Fulvia Berlina was 162 inches long on a 98 inch wheelbase and 2300 pounds. The V4 came in sizes from 1100 to 1300 with 70 to 91 horsepower. A US spec GT did a 19 and a half second quarter mile and more than 95 miles an hour. The Swedish Volvo 140 arrived in 1966 at about 183 inches long on a 103 inch wheelbase and 2600 to 2900 pounds. It used a 1.8 liter inline four with 84 to 113 horsepower. The Czech Skoda 1100 MB was 164 inches long on a 95 inch wheelbase and nearly 1700 pounds. Its inline four produced 44 horsepower and 51 pound feet of torque, pushing it beyond 75 miles an hour and getting it through the quarter mile in under 22 seconds. While the Soviet Gaz 21 Volga 3rd Series was 189 inches long on a 110 inch wheelbase and 3200 pounds. It had a 2.4 liter inline four with 83 to 94 horsepower for a quarter mile just over 21 seconds and reaching a top speed of 80. Australia's Holden HD was 180 inches long on a 106 inch wheelbase and 2600 pounds. 
The inline six came in 2.4, 2.9, and 3.2 liters with 80 to 145 horsepower. Top versions had 188 pound-feet of torque and did an 18 second quarter mile and can do better than 95 miles an hour. From Japan, the Mazda Familia was 146 to 148 inches long on an 86 inch wheelbase and more than 1600 pounds in either 800 or 1000 cc form with 44 to 67 horsepower. A 1000 deluxe sedan could nearly reach 85 and do the quarter mile in under 20 seconds. Datsun's Bluebird tried to look more European with Pininfarina styling. 157 inches long on a 94 inch wheelbase, it was 2,000 pounds, using a 1.3 liter with 67 horsepower and 77 pound-feet of torque. The quarter mile came in 20 seconds and it could exceed 85 miles an hour. While the Isuzu Florian was introduced in 1967, it was 174 inches long on a 98 inch wheelbase and 2,100 pounds, with a 1.6 liter inline four, producing 83 horsepower and 90 pound-feet of torque, giving it a top speed just over 90 and a quarter mile just under 19 seconds. The third generation Toyota Corona was 160 to 162 inches long on a 95 inch wheelbase, except the truck versions. Engines ranged in size from 1.2 to 1.6 liters with 55 to 90 horsepower for Toyota's second attempt to enter the US market. The U.S. versions could get to 60 in just over 15 seconds and nearly reach 90. The second generation Prince Skyline ran until 1968. Standard non-truck models used a 94 inch wheelbase were 161 inches long and used an 87 horsepower 1500, while performance versions had a longer 102 inch wheelbase or 167 inches long and used a 2 liter with up to 123 horsepower. A 2000 GTB could do 110 miles an hour and a mid-17 second quarter mile. But mid-size markets were changing rapidly, as would the cars that competed in them. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below and like and subscribe.